All right, today we're going to talk about calibrating a barometer. And generally, once you set it initially, you won't have to set it very often because they very rarely go out of calibration. But about every year, here's what you need to do. And you also need to do this when you first buy the barometer. First of all, go to the website weather.gov. That's the National Weather Service, weather.gov. Type in your city and you will see the current conditions for your city. And in there, you'll have the barometric pressure. Now, barometric pressure typically is given in inches of mercury or it can be given in millibars, but most of us are more familiar with inches of mercury. The average pressure is 29.92 inches of mercury. If it's considerably higher than that, we have high pressure. If it's considerably lower, it's low pressure. Now, once you have bought your barometer and once you have the reading from weather.gov, here's what you need to do. On the back of most barometers, you have an adjustment. It'll either be a little dial or it will be a little screw type slot that you can stick a screwdriver in and it will move the needle that shows you the barometric pressure reading. So if my barometric pressure at my location right now were 29.92 inches of mercury, I would take my barometer, I would make that adjustment and set the current reading to 29.92. That's all you got to do. Again, that will very rarely go out of kilter, but about every year, you might want to go ahead and go back to weather.gov, find out the current official reading at your location, and then just make sure that your barometer is set that way.